Oh boy, do I have a story for you today. Now, you all know the expat Taffy situation. He's that moon landing denier who just can't seem to accept the facts. And every time I extend the olive branch offering to have a civil debate, despite the fact that all he does is insult me, he scurries away, turning off the comment section on his videos faster than you can say, Houston, we have a problem. But fear not, because today I'm going to pull back the curtain. I'm laying it all out for you. I've gathered up the evidence, the comments, and the proof that I've been willing and eager to engage in a constructive dialogue with Tat. And yet, despite my openness, he's quick to paint me as the one dodging the debate. I am more than happy to debate you, Taff, on any debate channel that you choose. Well, enough is enough. It's time to set the record straight. So buckle up, strap in, and get ready for a ride through the wild world of online debate dodging. Because I'm not going to back down. So sit back, relax, and we'll dive deep into the murky waters of expat Taffy's brilliant brain. And old people, brilliant. Please subscribe. Before we start, a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes online privacy and protection easy by encrypting all internet traffic sent to and from your devices and ensuring that your IP address stays hidden and it makes sure no one can see what you do online. And on top of all that, it blocks ads, trackers and malware as well as phishing attempts. But unlike other VPN services, you can use it on as many devices as you like simultaneously. Now, I spend huge amounts of the day on the internet because I've basically got no life. And the internet knows an awful lot about me. And you too, which is why we should all care about our online security. Surfshark encrypts your personal information and sends it through a secure VPN tunnel so that no one can see it without your permission, which is great for protecting yourself online. Now, unfortunately, ID theft is increasingly common and it's a scary crime. But you can use Surfshark VPN to get alerts anytime your email address or password is compromised by using Haplock scans. If somebody accesses your email or any of your passwords, Surfshark notifies you. And if any data breach is found, they can take action to protect your personal information. Now, usually when I go on vacation, I've got a Miss Killing Eve, my favourite show on Netflix. But thanks to Surfshark, that's no longer an issue. A couple of clicks and boom, my favourite UK shows are available no matter where I am in the world. So you can either scan this QR code or click the link in the description below or visit surfshark.deals forward slash creaky and use code creaky to get an extra three months free. Now if that isn't awesome, I don't know what is. So, the story starts with this video from seven months ago where I debunked expat Taffy's brilliant analysis of some of NASA's Apollo 11 photographs. Now, to be fair, I know that I'm nowhere near as brilliant as he is. Nobody is. <laughs> but I was getting fed up with him calling me out for a debate, which he wanted full control of and would be carried out on Skype following his rules and only his rules. And this format is definitely not so that he can edit the video however he chooses. So I thought to myself, hmm, that's not how a debate works. But me being me, the nice friendly guy that I am, I gave Taff a challenge in last week's video video which was basically put up or shut up. Now I've said quite publicly that I am more than happy to have a conversation with him as long as he does what everyone else does and debates me on a platform that isn't mine or his. I don't think that's unreasonable and that way neither of us have any control over what our viewers see. But all I got back was, well, tumbleweeds. <laughs> So I had this crazy idea. I know what I'll do. I'll send him an email, challenging him to a debate. So I wrote this. Taff, you're gonna see this in tomorrow's video, so I might as well tell you here as well. I will debate you. That's will. That means I want to debate you. I found a channel called Modern Day Debate, and all they do is host public debates live on their channel. I won't make this offer again. It's a one-time deal, so to speak. If you want to email them and set something up, we can have a conversation, man to man as you like to say, and let the public decide who's right, you or me. We will agree on a couple of Apollo 11 photos beforehand, so we both know going into it what we will be talking about. 
I look forward to receiving my invitation from MDD. If you aren't happy with this, then I'm afraid it's just never going to happen. So the time has finally come for you to put up or shut up. And obviously, I will also be taking a screenshot of this comment because you do have a habit of deleting my comments or turning the comments off. And remember this, Taff. If you refuse, all you are doing is exposing yourself as a fraud. If you were confident in your position, you shouldn't have any problems with taking part in a proper debate. And then I added this after discovering that I'm blocked on his channel because nothing says you're confident in your position like blocking your opponent. Hmm, strange how no one can see my comment on your video from today. Day except for me. Block me, have you, Taff? Strange thing for a man who thinks he's right would block me just for disagreeing with him. Not to worry, though, I have screenshots of it all. And he only went and replied, didn't he? <laughs> Quite a few times, actually. And this was his first reply. Hey, Prep, how the hell have I blocked you if I can see your comments here? And now you had plenty of chances to call me on Skype today, but you didn't have the balls, idiot. The channel here is my email account. My YouTube channel is expattaffy1. Which was a me immediately followed by this. Ha ha ha! Well, dickhead, what do you think of your stupid comment of the rain sheets being thermal blankets? Ha ha ha! Didn't you have the brains to see that those rain sheets are over the gear in the shaded area of the lem? Ha ha ha! An area where the sun don't shine! Ha ha ha! Just like your ass! Now, after sending that email, I found out that Modern Day Debate probably wouldn't be the right platform for this because, well, reasons. So I sent Taff another email offering him an alternative, but I kept it friendly because that is the best way to get somebody to agree to something. Or at least I thought it was. So I said this. Hello, mate, and thank you for the reply. First of all, I don't understand why you feel the need to constantly insult me. Seems a bit pointless. I mean, we're both adults, aren't we? Anyway, I have broad shoulders, so we let that go. As I said, thank you for replying, and I am guessing this means you are happy to take part in a debate with me. I found a couple of channels which I think would be great for hosting the debate, as that's what they do. I've watched a few debates they have hosted, and they both seem to run a fair platform. They make sure that both get equal time to speak, and that the debate is structured and fair, and I have to be honest, I'm quite excited about us getting together and thrashing things out. And the channels I'm talking about are Fight the Flat Earth and MC Toon Live, because as we all know they both host debates and they are fair guys so i included the links in the email because mr helpy helperton spank you helpy helperton here are the two channels i found so i've copied them into this email so we can make arrangements to get this done as soon as possible i've never set anything up like this before so i don't know if the people from the debate platforms will contact us themselves to sort it out or if we need to ask for a certain date but in either case i'm quite happy and looking forward to finding talking to you in person and being the conscientious guy he is michael from mc toon live replied pretty much straight away so i was even more excited because i knew that if i had seen the reply so had expat taffy but something told me that taff wasn't quite as excited about the reply as i was let me say this you are a fucking asshole what a cheek you don't see the need to insult you Get this, you fucking Welsh twat. You started this battle and you started it with ridiculing and insulting me. You are a despicable Welsh twat. No, twat. Hey, creaky. Just goes to show what a liar you are. Didn't you say that I had blocked you and refused to answer your emails? So, creaky, I am answering this one now. The offer here is totally unacceptable, twat. Takes too long. Nothing easier than just giving me a call on Skype and nobody else would be involved. You are the one who disputes my evidence, so all we need is for me to show you a photo and ask you if you think it's genuine. Then I will provide the evidence of fakery, just as I have done with the rain sheets. Ha ha ha! We can record you saying they are thermal blankets to keep the soon off the gear. Ha ha ha! What a jewel! When there is no such script from NASA, and according to NASA, all the gear was designed to work in the extreme hot and cold conditions on the moon. And also, idiot, the sheep-covered gear is in the shade of the lamb. And also, dude, not one of them item of gear is being used is covered. So, with any so-called thermal blankets. Ha ha ha! All that when the correct reason for the rain sheets is to keep the rain off the gear in Flagstaff, Arizona. Ha ha ha! Here you are, you creep. Just plop this into Google. Can't get to the moon? Try Cinder Lake City, Flagstaff, Arizona. Next twat. 
proof that my offer is genuine and simple. We have had one of your twats making a Skype contact, but again, false and insult him by showing a shot of his ass instead of his face. Did somebody do that? If they did, that's very funny. <laughs> I suppose you have noticed that as before, I have disabled the comments on my last video. Not one sensible comment from all your sheep, just insults. You just carry on, disc head, make all the videos you want. They will all be debunked with evidence showing what an asshole you are. Now, I didn't reply to that exact email because I got the feeling that he didn't like me that much, but he just kept sending them through. And next, we had this booty. Proof you can't be trusted, you Welsh creep. On a few occasions, I have left a photo at the end of some videos and asked you to comment on it. Not once have you done so, idiot. Now, let me ask you again. Let's have a comment on the latest photo at the end of the present video. Half, do you honestly think I watch all your content? <laughs> well, I don't, I'm afraid. So then he sent me another, which said... Ha ha ha, all the proof we need that just like Joan Evans and Pop Robson, you are shit scared to meet me face to face, man to man. No other person involved. I don't need any help from an outside party, so why do you? Well, I don't, Taff, which is why I sent you an email inviting you to debate me on a debate channel. Now, at this point in the proceedings, I was starting to wonder if he was ever going to answer me yes or no to the question, would you like to debate me on a debate channel? And he finally got round to it. And this is what he said. The answer is a big fat no, coward. Either just give me a Skype call or just piss off. The reason being, you are a lair, as well as a moron. Tell us, twat. How the hell am I getting this email when you stated that I had blocked your email address? Proof you are a liar and can't be trusted. Call Pop Robson and tell him it didn't work. Hey twat, the Apollo 12 lev at the end of my last video. Still waiting for you to comment, idiot. Now I didn't actually ever say that you had blocked my email address, Taff. What I said was you had blocked me from commenting on your YouTube videos. Which you have! Now, as much as I was enjoying this email thread, the next reply I received from expat Taffy filled me with fear and dread and made me question my entire career. You're on YouTube. All I will be doing is downloading all of your videos and making debunking returns with comments disabled on all. Ha ha ha! Now that will upset all your sheep, won't it? As I said, if you want to carry the mantle of shame and stupidity for Bertie slash IE slack bunch, then that's up to you. The site I use, idiot. NASA.gov. Now, I hate to break it to you, Taff, and I don't want to be the person who destroys an old man's dreams. I mean, we all need something to look forward to, but you're not the only person on YouTube who's ever made a video about me. Ha ha ha! Why is one Welshman afraid of another Welshman? Ha ha ha! Same reason as why is an Englishman scared of a Welshman? Now, that's a reference to a video Taff made a couple of years ago about Brian Pop Robson, but I can promise you... Brian is not afraid of you, Taff. Now, talking about being afraid of things, it would seem that some of you are afraid to click the like button. Why are you not doing it? It's free and it helps the channel out massively. It is the best way to let YouTube know that you enjoyed this video and then they will share it with other people who they think will enjoy it as well. But anyway, let us continue. Now, by this point, I'd all but given up on the hope that I might get to debate expat Taffy. So I just carried on with my day and published this video. This moon landing denier is ridiculous. And you're not going to believe this, but Taff comments on that video because I don't have you blocked half, do I? Mm -hmm. And he said this. Ha ha ha, this Welsh idiot is chicken it out again. Even though in that video I called him out to debate multiple times, which tells me that he's just got no self-awareness. People replied things like, have you watched the video, Taff? The only chicken is you, and he's not the one running away. You know, so there's a bit of a theme forming here, Taff, isn't it? And people's opinion of you doesn't seem to be as favourable as you seem to think it is. This just in, and I hope it doesn't come as too much of a shock to you, but expat Taffy has just replied to me again while I'm making this video, and he says... It's you against me, one to one, nobody else needed, I am ready, you are the chicken, creep. He doesn't seem to understand how... Well, he doesn't seem to understand how anything works, does he? Taff, I've already challenged you to a debate. You can keep sending me emails saying that I'm a chicken if you want to, if it makes you feel better about yourself. 
but the fact still remains, as this video perfectly illustrates, that you are the one who is refusing to debate me. So I replied in a gentlemanly fashion, because that's what I am. Hey Taff, I hope you're well. Yes, I'm ready whenever you are. Now, do you want to go for FTFE's debate channel or MC Tune Live? I'm happy either way. And as you've just requested, it would be just you and me. The only involvement the host will have is keeping things fair. Moderating, if you will. Did you want me to request some dates, or are you gonna do that? Now, will he reply? Probably. Will he reply agreeing to debate me on MC Toon Live or Fight the Flat Earth channel? Probably not. And I'm basing that on comments like this, which he's left on my latest video about him. Keep them coming, Pratt. Each will be debunked with more evidence of your insanity. Hey, Prick, this live debate on Zoom or Skype was the idea of the brilliant expat Taffy. It is my channel, my rules. Accept or chicken out, idiot. And then there's this classic. Ha ha ha, exposing myself as a fraud. Ha ha ha. Hey, twat, why throw away the chance to come and kick my ass, which should be easy for you after claiming I know sweet F.A. about photography. Hey, twat, I'm here now this very hour waiting with my iPad to receive a Skype call from you idiot a creepy coward. He refuses to call. He is looking for a way out, twat. Just like Pop Robson done. Now I could make this video go on and on and on, but I don't think anybody wants to see that. But just for clarity's sake, expat taffy, it is I, the creaky blinder, and I am challenging you to a debate on a debate platform like Fight the Flat Earth's channel or MC Toon Live. If you want to debate me, respond to the email we've both received from MC Toon Live. If you don't want to debate me, that's fine. We'll just leave things as they are and we can both go about our days. So what do you think? What are the chances of him actually agreeing to debate me? I'm not going to hold my breath, to be honest with you. And I suggest you don't either. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Oh, you're still here then. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new. If you did, then you'll probably enjoy this video as well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all again very soon or in a few minutes if you do decide to watch this recommended video. <laughs> Love you, bye.